C'est un convertisseur à 3000 watts. Tu as deux sorties de, de 15 ampères qui peuvent être utilisées en continu. Là. Étant donné qu'il est branché sur les panneaux, on ne devrait jamais manquer d'électricité. Il va charger en permanence le jour. Là. On va marcher toute la nuit avec toutes les lumières, ouais. les speakers. Et cette année, c'est super. On a un labyrinthe éclairé à l'énergie solaire. Puis, euh, ah ouais, euh, euh, sonorisé à l'énergie solaire. Ouais. <rire> Cette année, c'est le thème des chakras. Ouais, c'est quel chakra aujourd'hui? Jaune. Non. Orange. Comment tu s'appelle? Sagesse. Swadhisthana. Swadhisthana chakra. The root chakra. Le, le chakra du euh, racine. Je vais apprendre à parler cheval, ça a l'air. Mais c'est pas un vrai didgeridoo, ça? Non, mais ça a l'air que c'est ce qui nous prête pour pratiquer. Ah, ok. C'est cool. Il va faire une respiration continue. Ah, ok, d'accord. Tu vas me montrer ça après. Ce serait mieux de suivre le cours puis me le montrer après. Ah, d'accord. Moon, and we're here at Open Mind, opening our minds to each other, to nature. It's a beautiful forest. We're in the, the healing garden right now. It's nice quietude. It's, it's a beautiful, interesting mix this festival because we have the electronic, what I almost call like a city vibe, meeting the organic forest. One of the things I love most about just sight in general and these kind of festivals. I haven't touched my shoes since I've been here. <laughs> and just having feet on the earth and really reconnecting to the vibration of the earth. It's really beautiful. And then to be able to dance outside barefoot and it's a nice mix of electronic DJs and then live music. So I was doing the live music portion.
si on, si on coupe trop d'arbres, si on use la nature, bah, on n'aura plus rien. Et si on perd tous les arbres, bah, on ne pourra plus respirer parce que les arbres, ils produisent de l'oxygène. Non, Merci. ils ne produisent pas d'oxygène, les arbres. C'est que les arbres prennent, prennent le gaz, ce qui n'est pas bon pour nous parce qu'eux, ils y en ont besoin pour revivre. Eux, ils, ils enlèvent tout le gaz, mais c'est pas qu'ils produisent de l'oxygène. Moi aussi, je croyais ça, mais... C'est pas ça en fait. Ben, la nature c'est agréable de pouvoir, quand on est matin, on se lève, ben, d'avoir de l'air, de Donc, pouvoir de lève, marcher pieds nus un petit peu partout. Là quand on est vraiment dans la nature, il y a plein de choses à faire. On peut directement jouer, euh, aller au soleil, euh, faire ce qu'on veut un petit peu. Donc c'est le temps après trois jours de nettoyage, guérison, rencontre. C'est le temps de célébrer. En fin de semaine, on va fêter. On va fêter toute la beauté de qui nous sommes. On va ouvrir tous ces potentiels. Every sound holds a frequency and every language holds a frequency. So that the frequency of French is very different from the frequency of English. And when you're speaking that frequency, it, it will influence the, your being and the way you act. Definitely the language carries the frequency of the culture, so it is very important to keep the language alive and the fact that Quebec speaks its own language because it really keeps that vibe. If everyone spoke English, it wouldn't hold that same vibe. la formule cette année du festival parce que ce que je comprends de ce que j'observe c'est que c'est la réunion de trois tribus que je vois ouais. la tribu des électronautes la tribu des guérisseurs la tribu de l'arc-en-ciel 
des gens qui vivent beaucoup plus dans la nature. Puis, je trouve que cette année, le fait de faire euh, un espace de cérémonie permet de venir rassembler et unifier ces énergies. Ben, ce que tu me faisais, ce que tu disais tantôt de unifier les trois tribus, moi, dans mon langage à moi, je, je répétais un peu les mêmes choses, mais dans, dans, dans mes mots, pour moi, au Pélemain, c'est unifier la célébration de la vie et le bien-être. Ah. Parce qu'il y, y a beaucoup de célébrations dans la vie. Puis, il y a beaucoup de bien-être, mais rarement les deux sont unifiés ensemble. Ça. Pour l'équipe verte, euh, on a des blocs de 4 heures où il y a des bénévoles qui viennent euh, faire la, des rondes sur le terrain. C'est sûr, c'est un, un éco-festival euh, qui, qui se veut devenir vraiment euh, quelque chose de gros, vraiment qui va subventionner des, des fonds pour, pour sauver des forêts et tout. Euh, donc on encourage les gens, avec, ils ont, toutes les gens ont des petites cartes, une petite carte blanche qu'on leur donne à l'accueil. Et euh, moi j'ai une étampe. On a une belle étampe rose ici, elle est géniale. Hein? C'est un... Celle-ci, c'est une fleur. Oui, c'est une fleur. Et bon, on étampe les cartes pour euh, quand on voit quelqu'un qui fait une action verte, qui a un comportement éco-responsable. Et plus que la personne a accumulé de points, plus qu'elle a de chances de gagner au tirage qui se fait à chaque jour. Ça, c'est notre badge d'équipe verte. Open Mind Festival, Enjoy Life. Donc c'est ça, puis euh, c'est de la sensibilisation. On prépare aussi les gens à être de plus en plus euh, conscients que quand ils viennent au, à Open Mind, ils doivent être verts. Euh, ça réussit très bien. Euh, les gens, entre autres, euh, ça comme un festival, habituellement, c'est un peu de surconsommation. C'est un, euh, un gros melting pot de on consomme, on s'amuse, on a du fun, on est des fois un petit peu... Euh, euh, on oublie tu sais, que c'est important de respecter les choses, mais cette fois-ci, euh, ben, c'est un peu le contraire. Les gens ils viennent ici, puis c'est justement une surdose de, de conscience où ils vont vraiment plus se forcer encore pour projeter les choses, puis euh, apporter des bouteilles réutilisables. Ça, justement, j'étampe. Quand je vois des gens avec leurs bouteilles réutilisables, je les étampe. planter un demi-arbre avec euh, cette euh, dépense de carbone. Et euh, ça, c'est pour la bonne cause. Euh, vous, vous êtes trois par voiture, vous avez le droit de participer. Ben, en fait, tout le monde a le droit, mais on vous donne le droit d'avoir euh, huit points de participation pour le concours euh, écologique. Donc, euh, à l'information touristique, vous allez pouvoir remplir des billets. Puis, euh, voilà. Le concours, on va le tirer à 6 heures. Puis, c'est des merveilleux prix. Ce soir? Euh, oui, à chaque, à chaque jour. jour. À chaque jour. Ah, super. Et voilà vos petits sacs écologiques. Puis, on vous donne des sacs euh, écologiques. C'est fantastique. Merveilleux! Bienvenue chez vous! Because it's green, it's like earth concentrated, it's like connected, I mean. Yeah, for sure. So... As well, the fact that there's yoga workshops and all this consciousness workshops together with the greening, so all aspects are working with each other in sustainability and in community and happiness. I open mind your un paquet d'autres types d'outils comme tous les ateliers, yoga, conférences, qui sont tout le grand village de guérison où les gens peuvent explorer des nouvelles manières de se connaître, des nouvelles manières de cheminer, des, des nouvelles manières d'expérimenter de, de la vie. Puis, puis, puis même tout le concept de déco, de, de, de décoration, d'ambiance, c'est tout, tout est fait en prévision de pouvoir permettre aux gens de vivre des choses nouvelles, de pouvoir explorer, puis au travers de ça, se connaître eux-mêmes. Avant, c'est cheminer puis créer le changement. C'est ça, Open Mind. C'est une opportunité de créer le changement individuel, puis dans le monde. Ouais. Ouais. Donc, il n'y a euh... plus de différenciation ou de séparation. C'est qu'on réalise qu'on peut grandir tout en étant parmi tout, tous les gens, parmi de tous les gens, toutes ouais. les tribus ouais. Ouais. <rire> ouais. assemblées. Ça va vraiment dans le sens de je pense, qu ce qu'on est en train de faire sur la Terre en ce moment, collectivement. Exact. Ouais. Vraiment. Yeah. <rire> ouais. <rire> La conscience de Krishna, là il y avait au moins quatre, c'était de la belle musique, des beaux beaux chants, c'est vraiment de l'harmonisation, c'est ça, je parlais de l'humain. Moi j'ai été en Inde, à des, 
Il y, a, il y a deux endroits qui ont des statues. Puis, euh, le, le maître, quand il est venu sur le bateau, il a eu même une crise cardiaque, il a failli mourir. Puis il a réussi à passer à travers. Puis après, il a fondé la conscience de Krishna ici. Puis là, ça s'est développé, c'est partout. On les retrouve dans tous les festivals. On les retrouve. Euh, c'est vraiment une grande, grande expansion. Srila Prabhupada, notre spiritual master, he was the first to really bring this chanting to uh, brought it to New York City in 1965, and there was a Hare Krishna explosion. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, one can become liberated from the cycle of birth and death and become completely satisfied and peaceful and awaken their, their, the pure love that, that lies within all of us. And it's why we're nice, we're nice to connect with a lot of people here because they have a open minds. such a wonderful spiritual path and we connect on that level and I think open mind has a very powerful You can say uh, forum or facility. Yeah, facility for spiritual people because usually when a festival is new, it's just a couple of years old. When it's new, before it gets spoiled by too many people, it, it retains a very good. People are very conscious, uh, very conscious of everything here. They're conscious of nature, they're conscious of each other. The children are happy. I, I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> I like all kinds of music, but especially the electronics and we play the ancient instruments, which is I play sitar and she play didgeridoo, so it's mixed with all ancient stuff needs new stuff. Especially didgeridoo and also sita, it's uh, actually cleansing for the chakra. So uh, didgeridoo, it opens the root chakra. And sita opens the crown chakra, which is a she. And also didgeridoo, high she and low she. So which is a um, energy came from the universe. And then the energy came from the earth. So both of the energy mixed together in the heart and then the heart um, actually drum beat our background music it opens the heart chakra so the both of the energy mixed together and then uh, you know something like uh, release and makes balance in the heart chakra so that's why when even like we are you know before starting music argument <laughs> For example, let's say, then uh, when we start in music, it's going to come down and very like uh, balanced. So it's very good to express, express, and also good very uh, cleansing by ourselves. <laughs> and also, uh, many people when they listen to our music, automatically it's cleansed because a uh, uh, lots of vibration usually is in the heart. I started a bodybuilding competition. It's, I'm actually kind of like shocked that I did that and this happened. It's amazing. I mean, you just can. looking at everyone's art, it's wow. I, I don't have any words. I'm speechless. Like what people did and yeah. just the art on the walls and all the setting. It's beautiful. I'm it's glad. Like a little vortex. Sure. It's very exciting. It's yeah. very, very, very exciting. Um, last year, actually, I have a funny story. I had uh, my booth set up. I was just as an artist. Um, and I had a goth, a hippie, and a businessman in front of my booth nice. one night. Yeah, and, was, uh -huh. and they were all into my work. It was super fascinating to see, like, you know, three, like, such opposite people standing side by side like that, digging the environment that they're in. I thought that was really special. Well, your art united them, basically. Yeah. 
and I, uh, that's something I, you don't really see in a lot of places. Yeah. But I like how this environment encourages people to open up, to get creative, explore themselves. You know, and it's just a lot of warm, accepting vibes, and it's really nice. You know. I love seeing kids also. That's really yeah. That's another thing. It's just so endearing. You just look at them and you melt and you feel this love everywhere and. They're totally. just running around and they're loving it here, of course, and they're feeling so free. And I think that's what makes it safe as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I mean, it's nice too, I think, for <coughs> parents because it gives them an environment where the kids and the parents can have fun. Exactly. And it's important. Yeah. I think a lot of events don't have that, like yeah. parent and a kid event. And I think this is, is open to the public like that. And it's important. I wish for more festivals to be like that. Yeah, I agree. Totally. I hope that uh, Open Mind can really help change people, you know, in a good way, like help them make the transitions they need to that's appropriate for them, you know. Well, the name itself, Open Mind. I know, it's, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it says a lot, right? It does. scientific explanation and it kind of goes like this all cells in the body are, can either be in protection or growth and most people in, through their daily lives and stress are living in a, in a state of protection fight or flight mechanism your body's pumping blood to your limbs and away from your organs and your cells cannot grow and what the chamber allows is allows a person to leave protection and enter growth because their body 
and its natural mechanisms take the time out to readjust and realign. When you start engaging in activities that make you feel better and bring you into growth, you're naturally, your body's naturally doing things to heal itself. And so we like to say that we create an environment where self-healing can take place. It ain't the gongs and it ain't us as much as we're a medium and we're giving people an opportunity to kind of tune out for a moment. And we try to strip it up clean of all thought and all all labels and and make and just have the universal language of sound that be the guide and the sound will do and go to where it is needed for, for who, whomever is there i feel like uh the sound waves kind of transport you to uh, a meditative state kind of like a stream or water it'll just kind of like move you there and people always come out really relaxed and refreshed acoustic music, they can dance to electronic music, they're not limited to what styles of music you present to them and that's why I think I build myself from acoustic a little busier, overproduced, etc. You know, and I like that. They like tradition, I feel. Like they like where you come from and it's not just a kind of a obscure thing. Like I could see that in the way they dress as well. You know, like people a lot of time ask me, oh, where is this from? And it's from like Kunayal Indians, you know, so they're curious about the tradition, the depth of it and where it comes from. And I think I, I like that a lot because it's what I love, you know, not just about my own culture, but to expand it a little further, you know, uh, uh, Eastern European and Middle Eastern and more. That's why I always try to like learn older songs and keep them alive uh, doing electronica as well to educate people with what existed before not just limited to certain kind of crowd so that's why i like this festival it's like you can hear anything anything from people playing live instruments to djing and everybody just embraces it and loves it un festival différent plus axé sur le bien-être En sortant d'Open Mind, tu te, ressens, tu, tu te sens ressourcé, tu te sens... Euh, c'est comme si quelque chose te nourrissait, puis euh, tu, tu te sens mieux en sortant que quand tu es rentré. C'est ça. <rire> c'est ça. <rire> I, I think you're right, there are so many uh, special moments. Les sourires, il y a beaucoup de sourires. <rire> c'est très nourrissant, les sourires. Critical feedback would be about the music that was playing during this past night and the night before, um, which I just felt it was super hard and negative or harsh or dark during the day, like the heart chakra day, whenever that was. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I, I got gonged and then this guy did some I don't know Reiki machine on me, okay. <laughs> and then. Um, it was just a beautiful sunny day and lots of positive workshops going on and I did an amazing yoga class and by the end of the day I was like wow full of love and life and and then the night came and it was like and then all night and it was like oh it kind of like made my made me feel like in my body all the good stuff had something to fight against now yeah, 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 yeah. you know I fully understand yeah. what, you, what you're saying I feel a little bit the same I feel like we, we, we've put a bit too much this year mm. uh, but we've put less than last year and where we're the vision of open mind where we're going is um, much more acoustic music festival right. with a little bit of electronic because trance music even if some people don't like it, it really has something unique for some people. And sure. we, we, we will always have a small part of trans music because mm -hmm. it's kind of part of the open mind. Mm -hmm. But we, we want to leave that behind a little bit and mm. have more world beat music, wow. as you say, reggae, funky yeah. music, music with real instruments. Yeah, that's kind of the point is that you get the live vibration and the 
healing is about vibration, then it, it just makes sense that that works together, like mm. live music and healing. Yeah. <laughs> social quotidien de, 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 de créer le changement. Dans le fond, c'est un peu ce qu'on essaie de faire, de, 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 de mettre de, de, de l'avant ce, ce changement-là qui peut être créé quand on, quand on s'unit plein de gens, qui nous aident aussi, quand on s'unit plein de gens ensemble pour dire que bon, on se force, on fait ça. T'sais. On n'utilise pas de terre rap pour ouais. faire un montage de plein de shows, de plein de stages. Là. Débrouillez-vous, là. C'est de l'approche de métal puis de la corde de jute, tu sais, c'est recyclable et c'est réutilisable. Ça a l'air stupide, là, mais... C'est quelque chose. C'est des défis. <rire> c'est ça. On se donne des défis, tu sais. On se donne des défis de gestion. Euh, on a une grosse organisation aussi, là. Euh, tu sais, 16 directeurs. Hein. Ça fait chacun une équipe. Euh, ça fait beaucoup de coordination. Ça fait beaucoup d'échanges. Euh, beaucoup, de, beaucoup de ressources humaines à gérer. Puis euh, ça fonctionne. breath in make sure we have enough space around us we're going to inhale and lift our arms up to the sky keeping the eyes closed visualize golden light as you bring your palms together and bring them down holding this light And take this moment to cultivate an intention for what you want to put into this light that we're going to circulate throughout our own fields. Sending this intention with your consciousness into this field of light in front of your heart. And we're going to take this light and we're going to bring it up to our crown on top of our heads and just weaving, almost like there was fibers of light above our head. You guys have seen those Alex Gray paintings. <laughs> so just weaving that light into the web, into the fabric, and coming to a stillness, just having our hands still above our skull, sending this light into the crown. Kundalini rising, birth of truth inspiring a straight spine. A straight line within the spiral all the while coming back to the child that basks in the purity of the all-knowing the truth of the perpetual growing ever-present flowing kundalini rising kundalini rising
because Open Mind is not only a festival, it's not only a gathering, but it's a way to create change. It's a way to, to change ourselves, to change the world, to change humanity, to change the universe. It's a way to let consciousness emerge, to evolve, and uh, for that, it's important that we formulate our intentions clearly inside and that we send to the planet, we send to the universe. The to discover the treasure and follow suit with sensual pleasure beyond measure. The water then meets the fire to bring the earth energy yet another stage higher at the solar plexus where we find the next us. Where we learn to trust and surrender our ego. Where we know that our true power is love. To be fulfilled with what is willed from up above. For our true power is love. Our true power is love. So let us be filled with what is willed from up above.